Hi everyone, here's a quick video for our next worksheet, Tools 2, about creating different shapes. All right, everything for this video that you're going to need to know is either going to be one on this stroke toolbar as we used in the previous video, our swatches to change the color, and also under here where we create shapes. Now on this one, again, any of these buttons that have this little triangle in the bottom corner, that means if you press and hold with your mouse, press and hold, you will find that there's other tools under there. And we're going to be using each of these um, almost. We're going to use the rectangle, the ellipse, uh, the polygon, and the star tool. All right, so this first one is the rectangle tool, and I'm going to just draw the shape here. So first one is going to be just a rectangle, and you're going to try to match this. You are trying to create the same shape over here. So why don't we just go ahead and do this? Draw the rectangle. That's a rectangle. And then this whole row, these green shapes right here, we're going to create by holding shift. When you're drawing a rectangle and you hold shift, it is going to lock it into a perfect square right there. You can't draw anything but a square when you hold shift. If I let go of shift, I can do a rectangle, hold shift, it's going to lock it in. All right, I'm going to draw these shapes first, and then we can come back and change the colors all at once if you want, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I'm going to click and hold on the rectangle. Let's go to the ellipse tool. The first one on the left is just a regular ellipse. The second one is going to be a circle again, and that is going to be by holding shift. All right, there we go. All right, for the polygons, let me zoom in real quick. For the polygons, what you need to do is to draw a polygon. You need to hit the up arrow while you are drawing to increase the number of sides. So let me zoom out a little bit. Control minus, minus, space bar, move over here, come back to our shapes click and hold, we're going to go to polygon tool, and I'm going to click and drag, and right now I have a six sided, don't worry about the location, I'm going to move that in a moment. So here's my six sides, but the one that I have drawn on the left is eight, so I'm going to hit the up arrow on my keyboard, up, 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 up. Um, let's go down a little bit, watch, I'll just, let's start back. If you want to draw any shape, here is a triangle, three side, three, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, five, Hexagon, septagon, octagon, there we go. So there's my octagon right there, the first one. And the second one, I'm going to click and drag. But on this next one, I'm all, I'm, has me on an octagon. It always leaves you where you left off. I'm going to hold shift, and it's going to lock it in as an octagon. And now I'm going to go to my black arrow, and I can go ahead and move. Once I'm done drawing these shapes, go back to your selection tool, and let's move these over. All right. Now they're pretty close. Let me zoom out a little bit rounded rectangle here. I'm going to click on my shapes, rounded rectangle. There's the first one. Now this one, I don't know if you need to do this. They might look pretty close from the start, but the up and down arrow will actually make some adjustments. This will increase how round it is. So I'm hitting up arrow. I am just keep clicking up arrow. And as you can see there, it turns it into a pill. If I turn to hold the down arrow, it's going to decrease the, the, the fillet or the how, how round it is at the corner. There is, it's very little, has little, very little rounded corners, excuse me, up arrow and go back over there. So there's the one on the left, and the, one on the right, I'm going to hold shift and that's gonna lock it in as a square. All right, let's go ahead and change the colors of these real quick. Let me zoom in the right way. So I could change all of these at once. I could. Click and drag across all of them. Touch, touch this one, touch the octagon, touch the rounded rectangle, and I can change these. I'm going to hit X on my keyboard, change this to cyan or blue, hit X on my keyboard, and change it to purple. And let's go ahead and increase the stroke. Well, we might have to do these individually. They look like they have different strokes here. So this one, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Um, we did that on the previous videos. So, so change these so they match. This one needs to have a really big stroke. And these ones you're going to change to green. All right, let's talk about these stars here. On these stars, same thing as the polygon tool. As you are drawing the star, you are going to hit the up arrow, and it will increase the number of arms that your star has. And one other thing that's not written here, if you hold control, that allows you to stretch the arms. So let's try this. Let's go to our star tool. And I'm going to click and drag right here. I'm going to click and drag. There, I'm going to start with a five-pointed star. And if you hit the up arrow, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you could draw some pretty cool stars right here. But I'm going to hit the down arrow. I'm going to go all the way back. You go all the way back down to a three-pointed star, I guess. Four, 
five, six, seven. This first one is a seven pointed star with a point down at the bottom and right about there. The way we're going to do this one is draw that star, but we're going to move the stroke to the inside from our previous worksheet. So let's increase the stroke. Uh oh, it's growing bigger, but we could change that by moving the stroke alignment, the aligned stroke to the inside. Outright, that's pretty close right there. All right, this star is going to be a little trickier. Let me go back to my star tool. I'm going to click and drag. Now, this one is actually eight sides, so I'm going to hit the up arrow one more time. I'm going to hold shift. Okay, that kind of keeps it locked. But now, what you can do is, as you're drawing the star, I'm going to hold control on my keyboard, and that allows me to stretch the arms out. So that's how this second star was created. All right, so there, there's just holding shift. If you hold alt, it's going to lock it. Let me hit down arrow. Let me show you on a five point star. If you hold alt, it kind of locks it as a regular star. I guess I call this a regular star. Um, control will stretch the arms. That's one we want. All right. So let's go back up to the eight sided. That's five, six, seven, eight. Hold shift. And I'm going to hold control and stretch the arms just a little bit. All right. Let's try that. And we're going to switch it. I do not want the stroke to be on the outside. We're actually going to move the stroke. I'm going to move it to center. But as you can see, these rounded points or rounded corners, mine are not. So I'm going to come up here to my stroke toolbar, corner, rounded, almost there. Let's see what it looks like if I move the stroke to the complete, to the um, outside, no, inside, no. Yep, I think center is the one, but we probably, let's let's try increasing the stroke a little bit. Let's go to our selection tool. So I have my bounding box. I'm going to hold the corner and I'm going to resize it. Make sure you hold shift. That's going to keep it locked. It's not going to scrunch it or smash it. Hold shift. Let's go a little smaller and we're pretty darn close. There, there, there. I think that's it. I just have to get the colors right. So I'm going to go to more of a blue outline. Sorry, stroke X then with a green fill. Let's try that one right there. Pretty close. Actually, if I wanted to do this again, I think I need to make those arms a little skinnier. Now, once you draw it, you can't change it. Well, you can, but it would be a lot of work. We'll get into that later. But if you want to redraw it again, come back to your star, draw it. Oops, sorry. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Draw again. I think I need to hold control and stretch those a little bit more. There we go. I think I got it. Let's go to our black arrow selection tool. Select hit delete on my keyboard. Let's move this one over, grab the corner, hold shift, make it a little smaller. I think I got that just right. All right. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.